Honest Mother News tonight, the employee base of some 3,000 at the multi-billion dollar Bahama Resort on Cable Beach is expected to increase by at least 1,000 persons in the coming months. This addition, according to officials, will be realized as the mega resort prepares to open two other major hotel chains at the site. And as Carla Palmer tells us tonight, the tourism minister is anticipating this boost in the economy. Tourism Minister of the Honorable Dionisio Diagula says Bahama continues to be on track with its plan of a phased opening approach of each of its properties towards a 100% occupancy level. He says there is no mistake that occupancy level at the multi-billion dollar resort is currently at 25%. Uh, I wouldn't say that uh, uh, occupancy levels are low. Um, that is what has been planned. When I went to Bahama and I said, what is your plan for 2017? They said, our plan for 2017 is an occupancy level of 25%. That's what they told me. So as they ramp up, as they train people, you know, you can't open the resort until you have all of the uh, amenities available. So they have to get the restaurants open. They have to get the shops open. It doesn't make sense to invite everybody to your new hotel, um, advertise it, get them there. And nothing's open. At this stage, Minister Diagula says as he knows it, training of staff continues to be ongoing at the mega resort. And another critical phase of construction there is nearing an end. I'm sure they're working through their punch lists. Uh, the uh, SLS is about to open this month, so that is going to come on stream. Um, but, you know, that's that they, they, we keep asking them, as you keep asking me, what is their plan? And that, as far as I know, is their plan. I haven't heard anything to the contrary. They haven't said anything different to me. Um, uh, the intention, as I say, is to open SLS this month and the Rosewood in the first quarter of next year with a grand opening expecting to happen, a real grand opening, not a fake grand opening, a real grand opening expected to happen in April of 2018. Still, the tourism minister did express some concern about the low level of occupancy, but says he trusts their expert judgment. Absolutely, as the minister of tourism, I want occupancies at 100%. And, and, and it is mildly frustrating to me that it's taking as long as it is to get the property up and running. But, you know, we've, we've, we've questioned them, we've talked to them, they say this is their plan. Other than me stepping in and taking over day-to-day -day running of the hotel, which I have no intention of doing, I must rely on them to execute their plan. They obviously have a plan, so let them execute it. Minister Diagula expressed optimism that Bahama will, in short order, realize its full potential. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network.